Well, here's another short video just to provide 10 fun facts about me and about the Langseth family. First of all, my wife and I met when we were in 10th grade at church camp. We did it on and off throughout high school and after junior year of college. We're married at the age of 21 and finished up school together. Josh was born about 13 months later and Abby another 13 months after that and that's when we moved to Grace and throughout that time Claire has been a rock in our marriage. She's been an encouragement to me spiritually and has served alongside me in student ministry all along the way. I'm so thankful for her and how God brought us together and is continuing to use us in ministry. And along with that, a big family was never in our plan. Claire and I never even talked about how many children we wanted, but through a series of specifically answered prayers, God made it clear to us that we weren't done at four, and we love our crazy, busy household and the children God has provided for us. And we're our kids' number one fan. We protect and hold sacred meal times with them. We love hearing and celebrating their achievements and investing in them because we know our time is short to equip and to prepare them for being game changers and kingdom builders in this world. But I also love to fish and to hunt. I would love to meet over coffee indoors, that's great, but so much more would rather enjoy an early morning of watching the sun rise over the water, talking about life while flipping a fish over the side of the boat every now and then. Camping, boundary waters, hammocking, cliff jumping, all of that kind of goes together. Uh, things that I love and am passionate about showing others. Next is learning Spanish. That's something that our whole family is doing together. And so if you need una mesa para ocho personas, I, I might be able to help you get that or ask for that. Uh, we're about 10 hours in to uh, study called Duolingo of learning Spanish together and that's something that we're excited about. Uh, number six, I also love sports and competition. If you didn't know that about me, um, I thought that might be helpful to know that I'm much more comfortable in a pair of mesh shorts and a cutoff rather than a sweater or a tie. Um, so don't be surprised if you see me playing basketball on a Friday morning or throwing a football up on the hill with some guys playing some touch football. I love sports of all kinds and competition. And, and along with that, at board games, is kind of that winter competition for us Minnesotans when we can get together inside. It's still something that's social and, and whether it's Settlers or Ticket to Ride or Monopoly, Risk, Munchkin, you name it, I've probably played it and really enjoy and delight in a good board game and the community that comes with that. Number eight, I'm a fixer by nature. A fixer by nature. And if you're a Myers-Briggs fan, I'm an ENTJ. And if you're an Enneagram person, I'm a type eight. And while I don't think personality tests are the end all or most insightful way to look at yourself, I do think that they're very helpful in capturing how we think and how we function, especially in how that relates to others and how they're built and function differently when it comes to teams especially. So my mind sees problems and instinctually makes tweaks of how that could be better or smoother or more efficient something I had to suppress because I, I realized that not everyone is like that not everyone desires or wants suggestions like I would but that's how my mind thinks number nine it's therapeutic for me to to video edit that's a new habit a new a hobby that's that I've taken up recently and uh, to have a project and to see a vision for how this could come together and then to complete it is something that I've, I've delighted in. And finally, there's very little I'd rather be doing than making music. It's been a joy to be the worship pastor here over the last several years. Whether it's guitar or piano or bass, singing, all of those things I find soul refreshing. They're life-giving experiences for me. So that's just a little bit of a glimpse of who I am, of who my family is, of how God has been molding and shaping me. And I'm excited to continue on this process of looking at what it could look like to partner together as a Grace family, to continue the ministry of Grace to know Christ and to make Him known, and to love and to serve this community in Stewartville as a light, as the church. Thanks for watching.